Hi, I'm Stacy here at Tamarack Nature Center, part of Ramsey County Parks. Today we are at Teal Pond, where there is a great restoration program going on. And something new is going in, getting installed at the end of the pond. Let's go check it out and find out what it is and what it's for. Well, yeah, I'm actually doing some citizen science here at the picture post. Oh my gosh, picture post. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. How rude. I'm Stacy. I'm one of the naturalists here. What's your name? Oh yeah, my name is Nick Voss. I come from Vlamo, the Vadness Lake Area Water Management Organization. Whew, that's a mouthful. Sounds pretty cool. You've got a cape on. Are you a superhero too? Yeah, yeah I am. What is your superpower? Well, it's saving the watershed one project at a time, kind of like this one. Whoa, oh wait, you said picture post? And what, tell, what is a picture post? A picture post is a way to practice phenology. And that's just a fancy way to say, uh, watching changes in the environment over time. Cool. So how do you use it? Yeah, like I was just doing, I take a photo at each location, at each angle, on the octagon. So we start over here at northwest and then we are going to be moving around taking a picture to capture this panorama of the teal pond restoration site. Cool. So why are you doing it here? Yeah well this is one of several posts in the watershed and because the county was already doing this restoration project we're really excited to be watching the changes as it matures. So we'll see what vegetation comes up, when are things flowering, when ice comes up and goes out, algae blooms, uh, big weather events, uh, all these things over time will really capture um, things we might not notice if we weren't taking record. Sounds awesome. So wait, but wait a minute, do you have to be like a professional photographer or a biologist to do this? Yeah, good question. And no worries, no intimidation. It's just being sure that the picture doesn't capture the bottom ledge and it's just facing that direction and that's all there is to it. Cool. So where do all these pictures go then? After you take the photos, you can use the iPhone app to upload them to the Picture Post website or upload directly to the Picture Post website from any computer. Oh, cool. So is this the only place around here that has a picture post? There's several others here in the Vlamo watershed. We've got one at the Sucker, Vadna Sucker Lake uh, channel, and that's just south of Highway 96 in the county park. We've got a couple in North Oaks on Pleasant Lake, and then one more on Birch Lake on the North Shoreline. Oh my gosh, so this sounds cool. So you can be part, if you have a camera, you can be part of citizen science and help out around these watersheds. Exactly. Uh, as long as we're adding the data, the photos, we can be learning about phenology and about what to look at in the process. So even if you don't really know what you're taking a picture of, um, we'll be learning as we go. This sounds great. Thanks so much for telling us about the picture post, but I'm sure you're a busy guy being a superhero. Don't you have some uh, something else to go save and help out with? I do. There's uh, there's a bunch. It's just so busy. And and there's a snapping turtle and there's an algae bloom and there's some erosion happening and oh my gosh. Wow. Well, you can see our superheroes pretty busy and this is a wonderful place to take pictures and help out with a citizen science project coming up. Thanks a lot and see you later.